Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Tracy's Personal Training, Pilates and Yoga Studio in Florence, Oregon. And I'm also on the Education Advisory Board with the MedFit Foundation and wrote the Stroke Recovery and Exercise course and written four books. Today I want to bring to you some information about spatial awareness. So spatial awareness and your proprioception is knowing where your body and your limbs are in space so you can walk, balance, coordinate, do your daily activities, know you know where to place your feet so you don't fall so anyway spatial awareness is knowing where your limbs are and your body is in space but your head plays a role in that so i'm going to share a quick video but i want to share something first about it so this is an 82 year old stroke survivor that him and his wife actually traveled from new jersey to live in my town for 30 days to train me because they were having a hard time finding good care and stroke recovery so here he is. So he trained me pretty much every day for this 30 days. So this was like the second day or so with me. And I'm teaching him how to connect with the core and about strengthening the core. And of course, there's a lot more muscles than that. But that's just to show here. But in the picture, he's holding onto my ballet bar, which is clamped to the wall, nice and secure, holding his torso up stronger by pushing with his arm. And you can see here he's still a spasticity in the arm and that leg. And he's working on, you know, getting there, straightening, you know, working on the spasticity and posture. So before it wasn't even a full week yet, he was able to stand up from a chair with his cane and connect to his core enough to hold himself up, which was great. He was learning quick. He was connecting because you really have to connect to the core for posture, fall prevention, strengthening that core for function. So, but what happened is when he would take his cane and he would take steps, he would put the cane out, take a step, collapse over, take his other step, and he was constantly going back to poor posture between each step. So what we did, and hopefully this video will show without a big glare. So I put bean bags on clients' heads sometimes. I have little square bean bags a client made for me a couple years ago. And when you put that on their head, in most cases, it helps them get awareness where that head is. So not only was he trying to connect to the core just by pulling in here, he was able to connect his spine lengthening from here and the head to go in proper posture. So if you will watch real close, especially right in this area. So picture each time he took a step, he bent way forward. So he's fighting that right now. And so I have his wife put a beanbag on his head so I can videotape it. So here it goes. And as tall as you can. I know you're aiming for that chair, but you don't need to go to the chair. So his wife puts it on his head. Now he can't I'm bend tall. over. Right there, he just lengthened up. Which was really awesome if you would have seen him before it's well, such a big so game nice so he was trying to walk and connect his head and his body and his proper core i mean his core and his posture all together so it was really amazing so remember that working with survivors and seniors with balance issues and anyone with neural issues where they're just kind of not well with their space of their limbs and their whole core and head to walking that the head plays a role into it. So it was pretty amazing when I was seeing this live to have him go to take a step and he kind of pause and you see him connecting to that before he took a step. So there you go. A little tip, another, another little tip on um, spatial awareness, working with stroke survivors, neuro, neuro issues. And, and I call it a little tip, but it's a powerful tip. So take that with you to help your clients. And also, I will be at the MedFit tour in February in Irvine. And I will be do doing the course live. And this is something I teach there. So I will be teaching a lot of things there and, and showing examples like this with clients and everything. So have a great day and stay educated.